In the previous video, we learned about dynamic routes in Next.js. In this video, let's learn about nested dynamic routes. When building complex applications, it is quite common that you come across the need to have more than one dynamic route segments. For example, let's consider this scenario number five. As a user, if I navigate to slash product slash one, I should see the details for product one. However, if I navigate to slash product slash one slash review slash one, I should see the first review written about the product. Let's see how to achieve this. In the previous video, we've already implemented the product ID dynamic route. So we can navigate to slash product slash one and get the details about the product. Now what we need is slash product slash one slash review slash one. If you've understood page-based routing so far, this should seem pretty straightforward. Whenever we have multiple path segments, nested folder structure is the answer. We want review to be nested inside the product ID. So back in VS Code, we begin by creating a folder within the product folder. But this time, the folder name will contain the square brackets. Product ID. To ensure our product ID route from before is unaffected, we're going to create an index.js file within this new folder and copy over the content from product ID.js and paste it in index.js. We can also delete the product ID file. Let's go back to the browser and ensure our changes did not break our application. Navigate to slash product slash one still works as expected, slash two still works as expected. But now that we have this product ID folder, we can create another nested folder. The folder name is review. This takes us to slash product slash product ID slash review. But we also need a dynamic review ID. So within the review folder, create a new file. The file name will be within square brackets, review ID, and the extension is still JS. Within this file, let's define a function component where we extract both the product ID and the review ID and display them in the browser. So function, review, and within the function, we first need the router. So let's import it at the top. Import use router from next slash router and within the function body const router is equal to use router. We're going to destructure both the IDs from router.query. We get hold of product ID and review ID. As part of the JSX, let's return an h1 tag that says review, review ID for product, product ID. Finally, let's export it as default. Export default review. If you now go back to the browser and navigate to slash product slash one slash review slash one, we see the expected text in the browser. Review one for product one. Navigate to product ID 100 and review ID five. And the UI reflects the corresponding IDs. Our scenario number five has been implemented. So the takeaway from this video is that it is possible to create nested dynamic routes. You do that by having dynamic segments in the folder name as well as the file name. Speaking of multiple dynamic path segments, Next.js does offer another feature to handle the same. Let's see what that is in the next video. Thank you for watching 
And please do leave a like if you're finding the videos helpful and make sure to subscribe to the channel.